All right, let's dissect these vagrant files so we can figure out what the heck is going on. Remember, despite length, despite complexity, there's five parts. And each of these parts can be as independently complex as you make it. We'll make these each dead simple so you can get an idea. First part is the box. Then you have a provider, a network, a synced folder, and a provision. This probably makes no sense right now. So let's go through these one by one to just get you a quick intro. Here I have this nice little infographic I made that tries to illustrate it. So you have a single vagrant file. Inside of it, you've selected a box, which is like a bunt new, like a base operating system. It also selects a provider. For us, that's gonna be a virtual box. So our vagrant file is gonna say, hey, grab the bunt new box and put it inside of VirtualBox. Now that's useless on its own, so we need networking so that we can actually access the, the box from our browser. That's like a complicated way of saying, if we visit localhost in our browser, we're able to see the contents of the virtual box. Syncing refers to files. We wanna be able to make code changes inside of the box without from our host machine, our laptop. And finally, provisioning, which is any custom configurations that we want. So if we go back here, I'm going to write fake code to illustrate what is kind of what we're going to be trying to accomplish on a bigger scale. So say box, we're going to do a button new. And remember, this is not real code. So we'll do something like this. And then Right now, my Vagrant file is on my desktop, so we could do, it would just be, I don't know what it would be. It would be something like this, uh, Vagrant demo, and then provision. We could maybe do something like Apache PHP MySQL. And that's essentially what we're trying to do with this Vagrant file in just a little bit more complex way. Remember, that's not real code. Uh, just to get you an idea.